Hey everyone, my name is Karen Slow Chow and I'm gonna teach you how to drink some pussy tea. Well, not how to drink it, but how to make it. I mean, you'll get it. Anyway, so this is the pussy tea from Pussy Potions. This is a 14 day supply. I'm so excited to taste it. I love it. I can't live without it. It takes away my cramps. It makes me a more polite person during that uh, time of the week. <laughs> what time of the month? Also, my periods are way shorter. I went from having seven day, seven nights. I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Now my period is about four to five days. Um, it's much lighter, much more um, an enjoyable experience, way more peaceful. So really good for bacteria vaginosis or eliminating chronic yeast infections. I mean, seriously, this tea is phenomenal. So I'm gonna teach you how I steep it. I know everyone can make their tea different, but this is how I do it. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it because I like mine a little stronger. And I mean, I really want, I, I need these herbs up in my body. So. I don't measure when cooking or using water on the stove, only when like baking or something. But um, this is how much water is in there. This is a pretty small pot. It's not like, it's like one of the smaller ones. So we're gonna let that boil. So while the water is boiling, you're going to prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically. When I first started drinking the pussy tea, it became a ritual for me. I would do it like at night. And I would make sure I was like praying and meditating throughout the process. I would sip the tea and I would just ask God to remove any impurities out of my body, anything that does not belong, anything that is trapped, trauma, just anything that is, is throwing me off balance. I ask God to remove that and replenish it with these herbs. Excuse me, I would highly recommend that you do the same. I believe in speaking things into existence. And if you don't, okay, cool. But if you do, I promise this will it will help you on this healing journey because this is what it's about. It's about getting your body to where it needs to be. So. Mmm, smells so good. No, like this really smells amazing. So there's about this much herbs that come in it. It's super cute. Mmm. It just smells so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just can't smell it. Anyway. So the water's almost boiled. When the water starts to boil, I am going to boop, pop it in, but I'm gonna show you. Got some juice. Watch this. Watch this as the tripod moves down. And maybe you can see my pot. No, you can't. Let me move it to the side. You still can't see. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So this is weird, but at least you can see me. Okay, and see. Wait, how about this? No, Jesus, I need help. Camera crew. <laughs> okay, now you can see. I feel like Marsha, Mar I was about to say Marsha Stewart. I feel like Marsha Stewart, excuse me, Marsha Stewart. Okay, so I'm about to put my little tea bag in my tea pot and make some tea. <laughs> So the water is boiling, not like a crazy boil. I'm gonna wait till it just gets a little, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, this little tea bag, this heavenly little burst of tea wonder. I'm gonna drop it in there. Y'all gotta see this. You gotta see this. You just do. Our tea bag, doing this little tea bag thing. I'm gonna wait until it gets like a little, like, you know, I kind of like was anxious and just hurried up and put it in there. So our tea bag is doing this little tea bag thing. And I let it do this for like a minute, if that, and I just turned it down. Also, I lied, it wasn't on seven. It was on like five. That's a bad angle, you can't really tell. But, oh wait, that's like five and a, five and a half. So yeah, it's like right there. And then I'm gonna let it do this. And I'm turning it down to four. And I'm gonna let it steep for 15 minutes. So we're gonna turn this time on. Oh my God, this light picks up every little piece of dust. I swear it's not dirty. 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the timer on instead of for 15 minutes. Again, this is how I do my tea. You don't have to do it like this. If you're on the go, you can do whatever you want. But this is the way that I like to make my tea. The most important thing is to not burn the earth though. That's the one thing. So you wanna make sure the temperature's not too hot. But you have to get it to boil. So anyway, you can make it tea however you want. Usually if I'm on the go, what I'll do is I have a kettle. I get a mason jar. I get a mason jar. I just put the tea bag in there, pour the water in and then put a lid on it and just let it sit in there. Works just the same. Covering it. All right, you can see it's already starting to sun. Nice and green, but it takes a little sun, so you gotta like be patient. The part that's not like that's fine for me, but I'm just gonna get my cup. I got this too, it's super cute. I got this cute little mug. Anyway, so I'll be back when it's done.